The whole point of having a pet is to show it love, tolerance, understanding and cuddles, lots and lots of cuddles. But you can actually love your pet too much. And sometimes when all these admirable traits collide spectacularly, it can literally ruin your life. Coming up, a feline terrorist that's fast becoming a neighbourhood nuisance. No. I'm convinced he's weaning on the car. <laughs> A dog that's ruining his owner's social life. Hopefully get a new girlfriend who likes Scrappy. And a rampaging rabbit that's literally eating her owner out of house and home. In total, all the bits and pieces cost me about £3,000. <laughs> Our final pet may look harmless, but she's an accident waiting to happen. Hello. 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 <laughs> I'm Davy. This is True. Hello, Hello. I'm Teresa. And I have been here, Beatrix. Meet Beatrix the bunny and her owner, Teresa. Beatrix was Teresa's very first rabbit, although her house is now home to no less than four of the creatures. I actually enjoy having them about, so they make me laugh, and they are good company. Ouch! Gun! Rabbits can be very destructive, but Beatrix has shown a very special talent for domestic vandalism. For a tiny little bunny, she's done some damage. Originally, she'd started in the kitchen walls. After she'd started to remove the wallpaper, she then decided that plaster wasn't exactly flat, so she'd start picking it off. We used to have a vegetable rack there, but obviously she got round the back of there to chew for the central eating. She's got herself stuck under the bath the once, and we had to have the bath removed to get her out. I very rarely get my post intact, it's already shredded. She's even unwrapped my Christmas presents when I've been to work. The painting done, the boiler, obviously I've had the phone reconnected a few times after she could stuff. In total, all the bits and pieces cost me about £3,000. Beatrix often challenges Theresa and has even been known to angrily attack her. She'll tend to chase me and growl. She gets narky with me if I don't allow her into the living room. If I'm giving one of the other rabbits some force and she's not having it, she'll chase the other rabbit off. I've got scars on my arms and everything off her. She's actually cut all my legs open before now. Despite the terrorism, Teresa can't bring herself to put Beatrix in a cage, although she is happy to cage herself. I got this baby gate about a year and a half ago and stop her from getting upstairs and basically causing another up here. But how long will Beatrix be kept at bay? It, it could be so easy to start an electrical fire through chewing through cables or do some damage which could basically put my own safety in danger. Why do you put up with all this? Because I love her and she's... But she's it must be so expensive. Job. It's a company, I think, more than anything. This, right. this is what I call the Dennis the Menace syndrome. You know, really naughty, yeah. but you like it. Yeah. Right. <laughs> no, we're going to have to change that. Yeah. Definitely. <laughs> From a rabbit's point of view, it's much better to be given the freedom of the house of course, in yeah. welfare terms than being shut up in a nasty little box or <coughs> hut. Um, uh, um, there's handling problems as well, you know. It's causing... A big problem. Yeah. They could do a lot of damage with their oh, claws, kind yeah. of psycho bun. Oh, psycho bunnies is scary. Mm. So, will our experts' advice make a difference to Beatrix's bad behaviour? All my other rabbits are quite happy to be picked up. Um, if I can just try and show you how to pick Beatrix up. <laughs> Come here, Beatrix. Beatrix behaves Hi. like she's wild. So Teresa needs to try and tame her. The best way is to handle her daily. No easy thing. Positive interaction between pet and owner is essential for a healthy relationship. Come on, madam. After a long chase, Teresa finally manages to get hold of Beatrix. Ooh. A dangerous game with that temper. She looks like she's quite enjoying the cuddle at the moment, so hopefully... Oh, sorry. <laughs> Come here. Don't stop. Taming Beatrix is bound to leave a few war wounds. In their natural environment, rabbits forage for food, so to stop Beatrix eating the wallpaper, Teresa leaves titbits around the house, hoping they'll be more agreeable. I'm hoping that will keep her more entertained and it might keep her mind off the wallpaper. I'm obviously hoping she's going to actually find a food, else otherwise I'm going to have rotting vegetation lying around the house. The other rabbits are quick to take the bait, but Beatrix doesn't seem impressed with Teresa's cunning plan. 
When Beatrix is naughty, Teresa needs to get tough. Maybe a rabbit Sindin might teach this bunny some manners. What are you doing? Teresa gets a chance to be tough. You going in the sim bin? When Beatrix eats more wallpaper. Teresa must keep Beatrix in the sim bin for 20 minutes each time she's destructive. Here you go. Stay in there. After a while, she'll associate being in the sim bin with chewing wallpaper and hopefully stop. Rabbits are sociable animals and it takes only a few minutes of Beatrix's solitary confinement to test Teresa's conscience. I think that's enough for today. When it comes to getting tough with Beatrix, Teresa's a soft touch. <laughs> Our three nominees have had a week to improve their behaviour or face the shame of making it to our Britain's Worst Pet final. So how did they do? Come on, Beatrix. Finally, after a week of careful handling... It's time to see if Beatrix's temper has been tamed. <laughs> Stay still. Oh, God, me top. <laughs> Looks like Beatrix still isn't as chilled out as the other rabbits. She looks, she looks like she's quite enjoying the cuddle at the moment, but I'm actually holding her quite tightly. She's actually not exactly really very comfortable sitting on my lap. Has she still got a taste for wall coverings, or did the food parcel tempt her to change her diet? She totally wasn't interested in that at all. I would have really thought if anything was going to work, that was going to work, but the food parcels remained untouched. I didn't notice until quite a few days later that it was still there and it was sort of decaying. In the end, I had to go and collect them myself. So, did Teresa manage to be strong and put her destructive rabbit in the sin bin? Just felt a bit silly sticking her in a sin bin, really, when she'd been naughty. I don't think she truly understood why she was in it, and it seemed really unfair breaking her from the group just to put her outside, because I don't think she really truly understands she is actually naughty. Looks like Teresa's back to square one, but what about her house? Will Beatrix trash everything she owns? To be honest, I'm going to leave things as they are. I'm more going to have to learn about redecorating so the rabbits can't attack things and bunny-proofing the house than expecting the rabbits to fit in round me. Obviously, wallpaper's a definite no-no. Beatrix. -no. Okay. <laughs>